is the planet on fire in the background. Hey guys, do you want to see how I created these amazing images using Stable Diffusion XL with the latest automatic 1111? We haven't had an update like this in quite a while. What's exciting about this is that they're really trying to integrate the SDXL pipeline into the actual UI, which will be great for us going forward because it means we can really optimize our workflow using Automatic 11.11 and the brand new models that are coming out. Let's check it out. Now, if you've already got the old version of Automatic 11.11 installed, what we need to do is right click on the web UI user and click edit. And just like in the previous version, we'll go down to the command line args and we'll add our own arguments. Yeah, the first one we'll do is dash dash xformers. The second one will be the dash dash auto launch, that way it can automatically launch into our browser. Above everything in this, what we're gonna add is git pull. Now this command will force automatic 11.11 to update. Now you can click save and close that file down. Now that we've done that, we can run the web UI user.bat and it's gonna do the exact same thing that the previous version did. Now this is gonna take a while, so please be patient. If it looks like it's frozen, it's not. It's doing something in the background. Don't get worried, don't get overexcited. Go have a coffee, go relax, have a nap, do something like that, but it's working. I'm telling you right now, it's working. Now just keep in mind, because this is a new version, they've changed quite a few things. If you are gonna be using the git pull option and you're gonna be using this in a pipeline, I would probably suggest removing git pull from your file. That way it doesn't continuously auto update this. You may have a system going, all of a sudden it updates to a different version and you screwed yourself over. So what you need to do is wait until it's finished and once it's done, it'll auto launch into your web browser. Okay, so right off the bat, you're gonna notice that it looks slightly different, very similar, but slightly different to the automatic 11.11 that you're used to. What we have here is a new set of tabs. We've got the generation, so we can generate our image from the text to image section. We've also got a textual inversion, so this is where our textual inversions are gonna be, our hyper networks, our checkpoints, and our LORAs. Everything's gonna be stored there, so we don't have to click up here. There used to be a little button here. Don't have to go there anymore. The other change that you're gonna notice is that we have these two buttons here. We have the high res fix. So if we wanna activate it, we just need to scroll it down. And we also have the refiner. Now before what we had to do is, we had to use the base model within the text to image, and then we had to go into the image to image to use the refiner. That's not the case anymore. What we need to do now is actually activate the refiner in the text to image. That way we can save one step, but we can also set it up so it'll switch from the base model to the refiner model at any point in time during the generation process. For instance, let's say we have our base model up here and we've got a refiner model down here and we want to activate it at the 0.75 mark. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to extensions, available and load that. Type in SDXL and we'll install the style selector. I like using this one because it kind of saves a little bit of time with the looks that you're going for. Once that's installed, we'll go to installed, apply and restart the UI. Once we have that ready, what we can do is come down here and we'll notice that we have this enabled already and we have a whole bunch of different styles that we can go for. In my case, what I'll do is I'll go for photographic and let's go a little bit crazy. So human riding a dinosaur in space, AK, UHD, high detail, cinematic. So what we need to do is change this to 1024 by 1024 because SDXL doesn't really, it doesn't really work well with lower resolutions because that's not what it was trained on. Uh, we'll leave this at 2M Karas, I don't mind that, and bump this up to 30. Load up our refiner again, and we'll have it switch out at the 7.5 mark. Now the one thing I've noticed with certain animals like dinosaurs, this is why I keep testing it out with dinosaurs, is that it gives it too many legs, but there's certain details that look freaking amazing. I love the composition that it tends to use. So as you can see, for the most part, the image is amazing. Like it's, it's well and truly amazing. Yeah, we need to fix it up here. We need to get rid of the third leg that's miraculously appeared there. Um, but for the most part, that's actually pretty good. We've got some interesting composition. Let's try again. This is something a little bit closer to what I had in mind. It's kind of got a Dino Riders from the 80s sort of feel to it. Were you a fan of Dino Riders in the 80s? If so, let me know in the comments down below because this is amazing. If you've learned something new, click that like and subscribe button. Now the good thing is you can go into Civit AI, download any of the models you want and use them in the same method, in the same order. Now as you can see, in the old version we used to have text buttons down here, they've actually changed them into these icons. 
It's a more sleek sort of version of it. For the most part, it's exactly the same. I actually like the way they've gone. See, they've implemented the image to image. They've added the refiner button in here as well. So it's not something that we have to constantly switch back and forth over here. So that's pretty cool. It's got some really interesting uh, dynamics to the image. I, I think with the SDXL, they're really trying to go against mid-journey, give it a run for its money. Now, it's not great for this small details, but that's something that we can go into within painting and really bring those details back up. Because it's only a 1K image, it's not really going to give us a lot of detail. Let's go with another style. Let's go with comic book style, shall we? That is amazing. It's got a real uh, Art Adams sort of style to the line art. And yeah, it looks amazing. The XDXL looks incredible. But again, like I said, you can go to Civit AI, download all the models you want. They're going to get creative. I'll, I'll give you that. The detail. I don't know if you guys can see this on YouTube, but the amount of detail that's on here is insane. I mean, I don't know why the dinosaur's floating in space. Is the planet on fire in the background? It's, it's simplified this whole system. We don't have to go into the image to image. If you're just trying to generate images, Luke, that's incredible. This kind of quality fire in 1.5 was a challenge to say the least. All right, guys, what do you think? Are you gonna install the automatic 11.11 1.6 update? Personally, I love the fact that the pipeline for SDXL is front and center. For a long time, people thought that automatic 11.11 was dead, that they were getting no updates, but now we know that automatic 11.11 is gonna be at the forefront of this. If you like this video, let me know by clicking the like button, subscribe, and check out this next video. No!